Welcome to this edition of India Means Innovation, where we discuss the technologically complex innovations coming out of India. Today we have with us Thiruvalar Marban, who's the senior technology leader from HCL Tech's MedTech Engineering business. HCL Tech is a global technology company, about $14 billion in revenue. Welcome, Marban. Thank you. Marban, you have created this incredible medical device called Myocardial Protection System. Can you tell us a little bit about it? So as the name says, myocardial protection system protects the heart when it is uh, you know, stopped for a cardiac procedure. So basically it's a combination of drug, device, and set of administering protocols. So in short, it protects the muscles of heart when it is stopped it for a cardiac surgery. So a patient is having a heart surgery, the heart has to be stopped. Correct. And the patient has to be kept alive, the heart has to be kept alive, and this device manages that. Exactly. It's an extremely critical piece of device because the life is at stake. Yes. And it has been designed, architected, and developed by your team here in Chennai. Yes, 100%. How is the heart stopped? What is the process? The heart is stopped using the drug, and that is administered by following certain protocols, either in intervals or continuously, depending on the case. The earlier generation of such machines were mainly mechanical and electrical combination. Exactly. And now you all would have introduced digital embedded into it. Correct. Now, that is what controls the injection. So earlier when it is manual, it's like, uh, rotary knobs, manual rotary knobs and you know push buttons. A lot depends on the operator, the perfectionists. So many things are automated with the new system and it increases the efficiency as well as the safety. And it allows a lot of you know pre-planning and pre-programming the system before the surgery itself. And in such a life and death situation, what are the technical challenges? So if you would look at it as an engineering piece, there are various technologies. Once there is a fluid, Obviously, you know, there is a fluidics control and fluidics comes with its own complexity, the viscosity and the, you know, the movement speed inside a micro needle. And then that is followed by some material and how the delivery is made. So there is a material involved and there is a properties of material and there are mechanisms which pushes a drug out. And this is again controlled by software and uh, some PID algorithm. So this is the first time, you know, uh, where everything has to be controlled by the software or the system by itself. So obviously, you know, it was a challenge in creating the specification itself. Basically, you know, converting the user requirements into software and system specification. That was a challenge first. So all these are from, you know, different engineering fields and they need to be put together to achieve, you know, high accuracy delivery of, you know, this drug. So that makes it really complex. I mean, there is no room for error, right? Now, this combination of electromechanical embedded digital. Uh, you have a cross-functional team working on this design? Yes, it's a cross-functional team, right? There is a mechanical team which focuses on the delivery mechanism, and there is a material team which does some simulation of the you know, material, how it interacts with the drug before injecting into the body. And further simulation, so how the body will react, because different hearts may offer different pressure to the drug. And what if the machine suddenly stops? So there are requirements that the machine needs to boot up in very few seconds. But typically in an embedded system with such a large graphics uh, library, it would take like uh, 30 to 40 seconds. So we have done some fine tuning to you know, boot up the machine in like two, three seconds. Even in case of a reboot requirement, it happens within seconds, like two, three seconds. How many such procedures have taken place using the device designed and created by your team? Yeah, since the product is launched, should be more than quarter million procedure. I don't have the exact number, but definitely more than one quarter million procedure. And not one adverse incident. That's a measure of our success. Especially because it's such a critical life and death uh, situation. Of course, we were quick uh, in the initial phase. We were, we were able to come out with a viable product that can be tried on animals within like 18 months. So from that point onwards, it's like uh, refining and fine tuning and finally it hit the market with all the approvals suitable for human use. And this is a great example of 
digital and software disruption of core engineering. Yes. And this is a great example of India means innovation. Thank you, Marvin. Thank you so much. Thank you.